A good name is better than precious ointment and the day of death than the day of one's birth. Better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men and the living will take it to the heart. Sorrow is better than laughter for by a sad count countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. For like the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This also is vanity. Surely oppression destroys a wise man's reason and a bribe debases the heart. The end of a thing is better than its beginning. The patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Do not hasten in your spirit to be angry, for anger rests in the bosom of a fool. Do not say, why were the former days better than these? For you do not inquire wisely concerning this. Wisdom is good with an inheritance and profit profitable to those who see the sun. For wisdom is a defense as money is a defense. But the excellence of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to those who have it. Consider the work of God, for who can make straight what he has made crooked? In the day of prosperity, be joyful. But in the day of adversity, consider, surely God has appointed the one as well as the other, so that man can find out nothing that will come after him. I have seen everything in my days of vanity. There is a just man who perishes in his righteousness, and there is a wicked man who prolongs life in his wickedness. Do not be overly righteous, nor be overly wise. Why should you destroy yourself? Do not be overly wicked, nor be foolish. Why should you die before your time? It is good that you grasp this, and also not remove your hand from the other. For he who fears God will escape them all. Wisdom strengthens the wise more than ten rulers of the city. For there is not a just man on earth who does not who does good and does not sin. Also, do not take to heart everything people say, lest you hear your servant cursing you. For many times also your own heart has known that even you have cursed others. All this I have pro proved by wisdom. I said I will be wise, but it was far from me. As for that which is far off and exceedingly deep, who can find it out? I applied my heart to know, to search and seek out wisdom and the reason of things, to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. And I find more bitter than death, the woman whose heart is snared in nets, whose hands are feeders, fetters. He who pleases God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be trapped by her. Here is what I have found, says the preacher adding one thing to the other to find out the reason, which my soul still seeks, but I cannot find. One man among a thousand I have found, but a woman among all these I have not found. Truly, this only I have found, that God made man upright, but they have sought out many schemes. Who is like a wise man and who knows the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom makes his face shine and the sternness of his face is changed. I say, keep the king's commandment for the sake of your oath to God. Do not be hasty to go from his presence. Do not take your stand for an evil thing, for he does whatever pleases him. Where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say to him, what are you doing? He who keeps his commandment will experience nothing harmful and a wise man's heart discerns both time and judgment because for every matter there is a time and judgment through the misery of a man increases greatly for he does not know what will happen so who can tell him when it will occur no one has power over the spirit to retain the spirit and no one has power in the day of death there is no release from that war, and wickedness will deliver those who are given to it. All this I have seen and applied my heart to every work that is done under the sun. There is a time in which one man rules over another to his own hurt. Then I saw the wicked buried, 
who had come and gone from the place of holiness, and they were forgotten in the city where they had so gone. This also is vanity. Because the sentence against an evil work is not executed speedingly. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner does not, though a sinner does evil a hundred times and his days are prolonged, yet I surely know that it will be well with those who fear God, who fear before him. But it will not be well with the wicked, nor will he prolong his days, which are as a shadow because he does not fear before God. There is a vanity which occurs on earth that there are just men to whom it happens according to the work of the wicked. Again, the, there are wicked men to whom it happens according to the work of the righteous. I said that this also is vanity. So I commend it. So I commend it. Enjoyment because a man has nothing better under the sun than to eat, drink and be merry. For this will remain with him in his labor all the days of his life, which God gives him under the sun. When I apply my heart to know wisdom and see the business that is done on earth, even though one sees no sleep day or night. Then I saw all the work of God that a man cannot find out the work that is done under the sun. For though a man labors to discover it, yet he will not find it. Moreover, though a wise man attempts to know it, he will not be able to find it.